going on? Let me tell you the story of Rayman. In Rayman's world, nature and people live together in peace. The Great Protoon provides and maintains the harmony and balance in the world. Sorry, folks, this apparently can't last. One fateful day, the evil Mr. Dark steals the Great Protoon and defeats Batilla the Fairy as she tries to protect it. The Electoons, who used to gravitate all around it, lose their natural stability and scatter all over the world! Troublesome, isn't it? And untidy, too. In this now unbalanced world, strange phenomena begin to occur. Freaks and hostile characters appear, capturing every Electoon they can find. They definitely need a hero to save them now! Don't you think? Pray man to the rescue! No problem. Go and free the Electoons, Rayman! And bring back the Great Protoon from its mysterious kidnapper! But will the bad guys let him do it? <sighs> Hello everybody, I am Super Mario Sonic Lover and welcome to Let's Play Rayman. Oh man, I am so late to recording this. This should have been done like half a week ago. But either way, we're starting to do this now. And first things first, I'm going to have to delete a file because I already filled up. Filled up. And... You're supposed to get- okay, well, I'll explain this when I get into the game, but... You're gonna have to do something really stupid to get to the final level. So... What I'm gonna do instead is just use a level code, a password that will let me get all the needed collectibles and get to the final level with no problem. Um, I can't fit my username in, so I'm just gonna- Uh, man. <laughs> that works. Sure. And I'm just going to leave this as it is. No need to change that. Here we have the evil Mr. Dark. <laughs> oh dear. You don't really... He doesn't really do anything, uh, except, like, just watch, uh, where you're going. Like, the one thing I do like about this world map is that you're seeing, you're seeing, uh, Rayman through Mr. Dark's perspective, as you can see with these little binoculars. Which is actually a, kind of a nice touch, I think. But yeah, as the uh, intro specified, um, the Great Protoon was um, uh, stolen and the Electoons scattered around the world and they were captured. So basically they're your main uh, things to find in cages. Like you find them in a cage and then you uh, free them by just punching the cage to death, I guess. Um, thing is though, we can't actually defend ourselves yet. We can only walk and jump pretty much, so... Right, f for right now we're gonna just... Go gonna have to just ignore them, unfortunately. But this is actually not gonna be a 100% run, because... Like I said, that you have to get, um... All the... Well, I said you have to get something to get to the final level. Those would be the Electoons. And basically... You have to get every single one of them in order to complete the game and get to Mr. Dark. And I don't feel like I want to bother with that because that takes way too much effort. It takes way too long. And I don't think you guys would be willing to sit through all that. Anyways, do I... Well, yeah, let's just do this. 
Um, you'll see the magician just randomly in the levels sometimes. And if you give them, give them enough tings, that's what the game calls them, <laughs> um, then you'll go to these little mini games, and you just have to get all the tings here. So it's pretty self-explanatory, but it can be very tight. Like this game is really difficult, so don't ex don't uh, be surprised to see your butt get kicked a bunch, especially in the late game. Like not even that late game. It's like it starts getting hard. Um, in like World 2, so you know, you'll see how hard this game, this game can get, it gets pretty ridiculous. Um, but yeah, as you'd expect, you get more abilities as, as you go through, and that was way too close. Uh, you get more abilities, obviously, because we can't actually do much yet. We can't even grab into ledges, which is stupid, but <laughs> I mean, Banjo Turi does the same thing, you have to unlock that, but hey. It, I mean, I do like the idea of like getting more abilities and getting more powerful as you progress. But I always find it weird when things like simple things like knowing how to grab a ledge or punch, um, being like un unlockable move, just seems kind of silly to me. <laughs> like it, it would, I think it would make it more make it. I think it would made would have made more sense if it was like just some kind of wimpy punch at first, and then you get like a normal punch afterwards or something. I don't know, but it's more of a nitpick. But you know, yeah, yeah, you, you, you can you can at least climb stuff though, which is kind of funny. Like you can climb, you can climb like uh, things uh, growing. Or just things on the walls hanging from the ceilings and all that, but you can't grab ledges. Which is kind of like weird. <laughs> okay. Yay! Alright, so basically, it's, it's pretty self explanatory. You just throw your fist. The longer you hold it, the further it will go. I. I want to say that jump punches um, can do more damage without having to charge it because well you can't you can't charge it in the air, but I think like just doing that instead of doing a yeah it's also longer range so yeah it's just jump punches are just better because you you don't have to worry about charging it and they can it can um, uh, take care of a lot of things like it, it takes out a cage in one go it takes out a, a good amount of enemies in one go as well with quite a few exceptions later on but we'll get to that but um yeah we're introdu introduced to the famous rayman plum um you can do quite well it's not as versatile as it is in the second game but yeah you can just put them on uh, enemies and then just ride ride them on water, which is actually pretty cool. But yeah, very situational, obviously. But they get the job done. But yeah, there there are a ton of like little upgrades to your fists and all that, um, and to your life uh, health counter as well, um, because before we only had. Um, what is it? How, how do I... Okay, I guess I'll just do that. Because I swear there's a way to just... Um, what is it? Punch lives and they'll just connect to you or something? I don't know, though. But yeah, saving an electrons just so, so they can fall to their demise. <laughs> Great hero. Wait. Oh no, I've already saved that one. I'll get them as... I'll get as many electoons as I can, but there's no way you can get all of them in one run through the game. Because you're going to have to go back uh, with your abilities and get the ones you missed. Unless you do some speedrun tactics I'm not aware of. But yeah, um, as I said, this game can be really difficult. So... Yeah, how do I... Screw it. 
But yeah, this game can be really difficult. So if I end up getting going like uh, was it one life or something? I'll just use an infinite. Uh, well, not infinite, but a 99 lives cheat. Because here's the thing with this game: is you get what is it? Is you get um a game over, you get five chances or five continues. And as far as I'm con and um as far as I'm aware, um after you lose that last continue. It basically uh, cuts you back to the last save, the last time you saved. So, yeah, it can be pretty punishing. So it's like, say you're like in um, the third world or something. You lost your last uh, continue. Um, when you restart, you're gonna be back to, assuming you saved there, back at world three wherever you were, and then you're gonna have just one continue again so unless you're like really good and manage to get all the through all the worlds and all the electoons in that one continue um you're probably just gonna have to suck it up and restart if you want to have a good chance um i guess you could farm for lives but even then i don't know it's just quicker and easier to just um what is it? To so just uh, restart the entire game, but we're not. Well, okay, no. <laughs> it's easier to just uh, do the 99 lives cheat if you don't want to bother with that stuff. Because a game as hard as this, having such a um, unforgiving save system, is pretty evil. <laughs> yeah. It kind of sucks though with the electines in this game because. Unlike um, Rayman Origins Legends, where you get like extra stages and stuff, in this game, all that you get from saving the Electoons is the final level. Uh, you don't get any extra powers, you don't get any extra levels to my knowledge, and it's just kind of... eh. <laughs> like, I don't mind, I like collecting stuff in games, like, I, I love the power stars in the 3D Mario games, I... Who doesn't love collecting coins and rings in Mario and Sonic and stuff like that? And I love, I enjoy collecting the tings in this game and the lums in the other games. Um, it's just the fact that you don't really feel accomplished that much from getting the electoons here. It's just, you just kind of do it because you have to. Um, which is basically why I'm just gonna say screw it and get the, um, uh, not, uh, was it? The all electoons cheat because. Yeah, you know, screw that. <laughs> and yeah. Yeah, but as far, hard as this game can get though, the music is really good. Like, they... It does an excellent job in feel, feel, uh, feeling atmospheric and mis mystical all at once. Like, I don't know, that's one thing I love about the Rayman series is that you... I, I, I just... I don't know, I just like the feeling of being in this uh, mystical and um, fantasy world. Um, but you know, that's kind of the games I like to play more than realistic games in any way, but it's just, the way that the Rayman series does it is just a really unique charm. Like, they just do it so well and it's just really effective. Especially in the first two games, in my opinion. I feel the, uh, um, the f Rayman's world is played out the best in Rayman 1 and 2. Anyway, Stu, let's actually concentrate. This is technically the first boss, but it's more of a, um, a, what would you call it? a uh, test to show you how bosses will be like you basically just wait for an opening to a wait, wait for an opening then attack them but you can also counter some of their moves but it can be tricky i don't think all bosses can do that though wait you can't do that to all of the bosses but yeah <laughs> that isn't the 
<laughs> Don't be fooled though, that isn't the boss of this world. There's a much harder version. But we're friends now, yay! And here, if you've watched, uh, well, if you played uh, Rayman Legends or Origins, um, you you might recognize this kind of gameplay, with the exception of shooting out little pellet things. Um, you're yeah, you just basically fly around. You can still punch and get that cage. But I think it's a lit interesting little prelude to Origins because, um, if you guys don't know, um. I, my idea for the Rayman timeline would be that it starts with this game. Well, actually, well, it starts with the Rayman Origins teaser trailer where it actually shows him getting born, or created, rather. But we obviously know now that Rayman Origins, the game itself, isn't an origin story. And I've heard from a lot of people that Rayman Origins is, takes place after 3, but I... I honestly don't see that making a lot of sense, because, uh, first off, the Electoons are there, and it just... Oh, there, this is a little faster section for no real reason, but, yeah, there's the Electoons, um, the, um... I, and I... And, well, one other thing is that the... Since a Mosquito is, like, awkward, awkward to control in this, I like to believe that the Mosquito hasn't... isn't, like... 100% in trust with Rayman, and also it's inexperience, perhaps. And then in Rayman Origins, there's, it has no problem control, uh, controlling, or being controlled, rather. And then, and then there's also the fact that Rayman's abilities in the modern 2D games are a lot more advanced than Rayman 1. And then... What was it? In Rayman 2 and 3, you can tell that the... Um, what is it? Well, Rayman's a lot smarter, obviously. Because, um, like... What is it? In Rayman... I'm dr it's hard to uh, collect my thoughts uh, clearly with this, but basically, <laughs> yeah, uh, there's a little chase sequence, but, um, oh man, I, 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 I posted this whole huge comment on a music, Rayman music video about my timeline for, uh, theory thing, um, but yeah, I just think it would be Rayman, Rayman 1, Origins, Legends, 2, 3, and Rayman 4 in 20, in 20, come on Rayman, <laughs> in 2055, I don't know. But yeah, um, I don't know, I just think that this game connects itself well to being in Origins, because there's so many things that... Um, Origins takes from one, like the world map is pretty similar. Um, they have the Electoons back, the Mosquito levels, and just little things like that. Oh, also some of the enemies as well. Um, like I guess being a sequel to Rayman 3 works too, question mark, but I don't know. Like, I like to think, okay, here's the thing. After Origin, well, in Legends 2-3, Electoons are never are nowhere to be found, and Teensies are nowhere to be found in this game or or well, besides the two playable ones in Origins. Um, but what I believe, and this is going into really big head cannon stuff right now, but um, I like to believe that the, the Teensies, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I like to believe the Teensies are grown-up versions of the Electoons, because think about it, in um, this game, there are no Teensies to be found, and there's just Electoons, and they're all in cages. What else is in cages? Teensies. And then, like, you go to Origins, when you have the, the few, um, the few Teensies that are playable that are the few Teensies that have grown up, or Electoons that have grown up, rather, and then there's the, um, and then you go to, 
legends where there, there aren't any um, electrons to be found and all the people in cages now are teensies. I guess you could also make the argument that t uh, the electrons are just like off somewhere else being in peace, which I guess kind of works as well, but I don't know. I just like, I just like thinking that the electrons are just the teensies um, just in baby form, I guess. And then the TCs are electoons in adult form. I don't know, it just makes more sense to me. Because you're both, you're saving them both in cages. And like, I don't know, I just feel like it shouldn't, it's more, it shouldn't be just a coincidence that in Legends you're saving TCs when in Origins you're saving electoons. Like the, literally the game after Origins, you save TCs instead, so... Maybe I'm just thinking too hard into it, which I'm pro which I probably am. Like <laughs> the Rayman timeline seriously isn't something that they probably care too much to think about. But I always I always kinda like to connect the dots a little bit, even if the games are so drastically different. But yeah, that's just my two cents. There's just so many things that connect this game to being well it, so many things that um for me anyway uh back up that theory like all the things i mentioned like the mosquito the the teensies being electoons and all that stuff i don't know it just makes the most sense and then rayman 2 like or like legends there aren't any electoons and then Fr rayman 3 is the same and there's also the fact that the for my money the uh, stakes get a lot more high, like high in uh, two and three, and it just it just makes more sense. Like the the threats are getting bigger and bigger, and Rayman's more, and yeah, one thing that does make a little bit of a, bit of a plot hole is that Rayman meets Glowbox in the teaser in the teaser trailer for Rayman Origins, but he's nowhere to be found in this game. Which is the only thing I can think of that makes my theory um like a little bit flawed. But you can also just beg the argument that he's not ready for adventure. I I don't know, I'm spitballing at the moment, but that's the only thing I can think of that's a plot hole. But other than that, I think I, I like to believe my fairy has some water. What do you guys think? If you if you guys uh, have any thoughts on that, or you should just if you just think the it goes Rayman one two three Origins Legends, and you don't think anything else, that's fine too. Like not everyone's gonna w wanna think too hard about timelines, especially in uh, especially if you're talking about stuff like Zelda. <laughs> so I can understand. I can understand that. I just like to connect the dots. Um, like, I don't know, I just I just like to uh, figure out uh, what a timeline could be. Like, what, what would make the most sense? And that's just what I think. That's just what I like to believe would be, would make the most sense for a Rayman timeline. Uh, but yeah, that's Enough about that. I I don't know. I've had that in my. Well, I, I thought about this for a very long time now, and I may as well have just told you guys through. How the hell did I not get hit there? Come on. But yeah, I just thought I uh, would have told. I just thought I'd tell you guys now, since I'm doing a Rayman one LP now, and well. I, d I during the time of the other LP Rayman LPs, this wasn't thought about yet, so I can't really say I could I could have said this earlier because I really couldn't have. But yeah, that's enough. 